What's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Decaf, and welcome back to Black and Queer at the Table, where we're talking about what's new, what's happening, and what's what in LGBTQ culture, y'all. And today, I got a little bit of a surprise. I know I always say I got surprises, but I bought a book. And if you know me, then you know that I love to read and I love collecting books. I may not always finish them, but I love me a good book, a good story. If it's good, I'm gonna buy it. If you tell me it's good, I might look it up, but I might still buy it or go get it from the library. But anyways, I bought two books. I'm only gonna talk about one today. But y'all, the book that I'm talking about today, it actually comes back full circle for me. So the title of it is Queer Love in Color by Jamal Jordan. And I say that it comes full circle for me because when I first started editing and writing for the Closet Unlocked platform, one of the articles that was used in the story of Ricky, which was number seven, if you're keeping track, was called Queer Love in Color, written by the same author of the same journalist, Jamal Jordan. So, Y'all, I say this because when I first read that article and really got into it, it took my breath away. It really did because it was something that I had never seen talked about before in the media, in the, especially publicly. So I truly and greatly appreciate the work that Jamal Jordan has done for the New York Times and being able to have those conversations in those rooms and create those spaces for us to talk about largely amongst more people than just ourselves. So I did not finish the book just as a short disclaimer, and I'm gonna tell you why. So as I was getting into the book, Queer Love and Color, it is a more expanded version of the article. And if you haven't read the article, which was published in 2018, I recommend going to look at it and then purchasing the book because I love it. And if you want to see more queer love represented in color, from different types of backgrounds than your traditional things that we see on TV, I suggest going to get it. So y'all, when I was reading the article, I was like, wow, I'm very grateful for someone being able to write these stories in a publication like this that everybody's going to see. And once we got to the book, which I was so excited about, I'm glad that I finally got it, that it was finally released, but it's really just a compilation of love stories and stories of people meeting and getting old together and their trials, tribulations, joyful moments, things that have helped them learn how to love one another and also love themselves, along with a bunch of different pictures. I'll show you. So, oh, it's the beginning of it, comments and stuff, but y'all, it's just, it's so cute. Can you see this? I'm going too fast. It's okay. It's so cute, y'all. And I realized as I was reading it that I was getting a little emotional. And it was really just a lot of stories that I was being able to connect to and just really understand. And I didn't want to consume it all at once. I am actually being a little selfish right now with myself. I said, you know what? I'm going to take my time with this because I actually want to just, you know, read and feel these couples and just enjoy it. Really just enjoy seeing older people that have been through same things as me, maybe things worse, maybe things better, but are still striving to show up and show us the representation that we need. So uh, again, thank Jamal Jordan for being able to create this beautiful, beautiful piece of work for not only me, but for the rest of our community who may not have seen this representation growing up or who are still looking for it. So here you are, right here, you got it. If you're looking for some people of color, being in love of the LGBTQ community over the spectrum, liking what you like, you might find it in this book. And if you don't, this is a starting point. So I, I encourage everybody to go and read it, I really do. So if you wanna go read it, you can go and get it from one of your local bookstores, black owned bookstores, your local library, because we gotta support them too if they got it. But go and check it out. I will drop some more information down below for y'all just to read more about the journey of how Jamal Jordan got here. But until then, you know the drill. We'll be back next time talking about more black queer folks at the table. But until then, peace out.